Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us in our program today, Hymns from Sweden, a program of favorite Swedish hymns and other well-known hymns of faith from around the world as performed in great churches and cathedrals of Uppsala and Stockholm, Sweden. My special guest on the program today is Sung Suk Lee, soprano. Oh, praise ye the Lord. Praise Him in His sanctuary. Praise Him with the organ. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. The 19th century Swedish composer Oscar Anfelt, known as the Swedish troubadour, has given us one of the most beautiful Swedish hymn melodies. Day by day thy mercies, Lord, attend me. The words speak of the mercies of the Lord given to us every day. Day by day thy mercies, Lord, attend me. Oh, what comfort in this hope to rest all that thou in love divine dost send me draws me, Savior, closer to thy breast. Thou dost love more tenderly than ever. Earthly Father careth for his own. Sorrow's heavy burden thou wilt never suffer me to carry all alone. My special guest today on The Joy of Music is Sung Suk Lee, soprano. We are very happy to welcome Sung after 10 years back to The Joy of Music today. It's good to be here. I am here because I was grateful, and I am grateful. <laughs> so many opportunities you gave to me, and many uh, music arrangements you made, and everything. I'm very grateful. So it's meaningful here today.
was 10 years ago that Sung first gave her performance in sacred music on the Joy of Music. And so we're very happy to welcome her back today again to the Joy of Music. 10 years ago, when I first read an article in the newspaper about you in Fort Lauderdale, you were singing uh, the lead role in Madame Butterfly. And I read that you were going to leave the opera and I uh, made a call to you about being a guest on the Joy of Music. It was a mixed feeling and a quite low in spirit. And uh, I didn't know whether I'm going to make that whole opera or not. And that, just right that moment, I received a letter from you that you read my article and you like to have me as your guest in your joy of music. And when I read that, I mean, it just boosted me up spiritually all the way and uh, from there on it's always a pleasure to be in your program in many many programs we're having a program today on favorite hymns here in sweden and favorite hymns from around the world and i know that you love to sing hymns what is special about the singing of hymns well singing just a hymn is difficult at the beginning uh, because, as you know, the hymn is mostly 16 bars, and that was all. And I'm trained and sing for big uh, compositions and arias. It was most difficult to do these simple hymns. But by year goes by, I learned that singing the hymns is not only requires for the technique for the voice or the voice, but it's additional, the spiritual feelings, and you, not the melody, but bring out the text, which is a very important singing in hymns. And now, it is beautiful, singing for the Lord.
Can you tell us some of the special joys of singing sacred music to you? Well, if I answer for your questions simply, um, when I sang opera in opera career, I did for my own satisfaction and my own gain and my own glory. When I start singing for the sacred uh, songs, it was serving the Lord for His glory and uh, to Him, not for me. That is a difference. One of the pieces you're most often requested to sing is How Great Thou Art, and yes. you sing it so beautifully. Well, thank you. That number was when I did the Joy of Music first program. The following week, I had to sing in the church. And you ask me, whether well, do I know how great thou art? Obviously, I didn't know. So you opened the hymnals for me, and I learned the Saturday night how great thou art, and I sang the next day, sang you know, on Sunday. Sunday. That I was remember a, that. That was the beginning of how great thou art. <laughs> I see the stars, I hear 
Thank you for being with us, son, today on the Joy of Music Thank and you. singing sacred music and hymns so beautifully. Thank you for having me. The Dome Cathedral of Uppsala, Sweden is the largest cathedral in Scandinavia and is known as the Canterbury of Northern Europe. The building was started in 1260, taking over 175 years to complete, with the actual consecration taking place in 1435. The two towers of the cathedral are over 350 feet high with two giant crosses atop, weighing over six tons each. Those who began building this church did that work in the belief of the future of the church and in the sincere belief that this would be a spiritual center for people seeking and finding the Lord.
favorite of all Swedish hymns is Children of the Heavenly Father. The words tell us how our Heavenly Father will take care of us in any situation. Children of the Heavenly Father, safely in his bosom gather, nestling bird nor star in heaven, such a refuge e'er was given. Though he giveth or he taketh, God his children ne'er forsaketh. His the loving purpose solely to preserve them pure and holy. Our program today has come to you from great churches of Uppsala and Stockholm, Sweden, as we have brought you a program entitled Hymns from Sweden with my special guest, Sung Suk Lee Soprano. Oh, praise ye the Lord, praise him in his sanctuary. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.
Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music. Diane Bisch and The Joy of Music wish to thank Lufthansa German Airlines for their support in making this program possible.